viewers i'll be making stew this morning nigerian stew so firstly i washed my meat i sorted meat goat meat cow meat liver kidney shaki pomo the hard pomo all these were bought from mr Bolaho, my big bro from northampton in case you need his number i'll be putting his number down my link so I put some onions and I'll be putting all my seasoning, the multi-purpose chicken stock, I'll be putting it curry and thyme and some maggi. So I'll wait for it to boil for like 30 minutes, then I look at it to see if there's more water. I didn't put too much water, just a bit over the meat. That's the quantity of water you need. So this is maggi. I'll be adding some curry, my multi-purpose stock, to give it a nice tasty. I'll be adding thyme. And I'm going to cover it and make it boil for some minutes. While I boil my meat, I'm starting to fry my stew because after my meat boils, I'll put my meat in the oven just to make the oil extract. So now I'll start frying my stew. Also, I'll be putting the onion first. After you have the hot granite oil. And now I've got tin tomato. I have enough quantity here. So I'll pour. And make it fry a bit. Yeah, I just got um, ginger, garlic, onion, tin tomato, sorry, um, plum, and chili, like four chili. I blended everything in this blender, and I'll be pouring it into the constituent of the onion oil and granite oil and tin tomato, because it's ready for me to pour it. And I got all this from my big brother, Uncle Balaho, J. JKWD from Northampton. His numbers are his numbers are zero seven nine zero eight two five zero three seven nine. You can call him for anything you want, any African food. He will be there for you. So while I'm pouring this, yeah, I've got all the ginger, garlic, pepper, tomato, everything inside. So I'm just gonna wait for it to fry. So I added some pomo into the stew and now I'll be putting maggi, curry and thyme in the stew. Just a bit spread of thyme and curry and a cube of maggi will do. Sometimes you could add your meat sauce the stock from the meat you can just put a bit of it and sometimes if you don't want it just to reduce fat you can just disallow it and now i'll get the meat from the oven i usually don't fry my meat i'll just put them in the oven and make it dry These are my sorted meats, gizzard, liver, goat meat, cow meat, all together in the sauce. After doing that, you just reduce the, you reduce the light so it doesn't keep splashing everywhere.
this is almost the finished look and please do not forget to put your red bonnet pepper while i blended the the tin tomato the, sorry the tomato chili onion garlic and stuff like that i also added my red bonnet pepper that's why you can have this color added a bit of salt and I've reduced the light so the whole oil will come out you see the beauty of the stew our Nigerian stew you can use it to eat a wedu or okra soup with eba on the side or amala but I'll be using a wedu today this is it thank you subscribe to my youtube channel click the like button and um, subscribe please thank you everything I've used will be on the description box below thank you very much